Hi, I'm Mike Anthony from Gramercy Tavern, and today I'm gonna to show you how to carve a whole roasted chicken. This guy is fully cooked. You can see that I trust it with a little piece of butcher's twine. I'm gonna take the string off. I'll do it carefully because once the bird is cooked, it has a tendency to be a little bit firmer and I don't really wanna tear the skin. All right, I'm gonna start by removing the wings and I'm aiming for, see how easy that came off? Partly it's because my knife is sharp, but also because I put the knife right on the joint. If you pull that wing out just a little bit, the first joint is here, but I'm gonna go for the second joint and I'm familiar with it, but if you aren't familiar and put your knife in that general vicinity and start to apply gentle pressure, your knife naturally will find the joint it comes off. So those are our first two pieces and they may be the best ones depending on what your favorite part of the bird is. The next thing I'm gonna do is take off the thighs. I'm gonna um, make an incision, mostly through just the skin that separates the breast from the thigh. I'm gonna use my fingers to just create a little bit of space. And the next cut, I'm going to put a little deeper and follow the backbone. I'm angling my knife so that it finds, again, the joint. Um, you can apply just a little bit of pressure to open this up. When you hit that joint, your knife will naturally separate. And then I would recommend using the tip of your knife to change the angle. And the reason being is there is that awesome piece of meat that officially is called the oyster. You can see a little indentation in the carcass of the chicken. And I like to keep it connected to that thigh. Same story to cut this in half. I'm gonna put a little, just a little pressure on that and start to cut. My knife found its way immediately, but if you don't immediately find your way to that joint, just keep angling around with some small cuts. It is surprisingly easy to separate the drumstick from the thigh. And then I'm gonna trim only just a little bit of that excess skin. And then I'll do the same on the other sides. We'll separate the skin that separates the thigh from the breast and I'm gonna angle my knife into where that joint is, putting a little bit of pressure separating so that it's easy, It's an easier target. And just a touch of pressure there, right into that joint. You can see the kind of ball and socket wants to separate. You can really even do this with only your hands. Um, so the knife is really just kind of helping the process by gently pulling. And then there's a bone that goes right through the thigh and then another bone that goes up and down the drumstick. We just, we really want to separate them. Take a look. I cut that joint right in half. It does help to have a sharp knife, but it's not imperative to have a, a professional knife. You can do this with any, any blade. All right, and there's our drumsticks and thighs. So now uh, we're gonna go after the, the breast. We wanna cut it in two pieces, so we're gonna make an incision right down the breastbone. That's easy enough to aim for the, you know, the, the, the separation between the, the two breasts. And know that between the two breasts, if you put your finger here, you can feel that the, um, the breastbone of the chicken, there's a ridge. And once you make that incision through the skin, your knife can find its way to one side or the other. And so as not to waste that delicious tender breast, you don't wanna to leave too much of that meat on the bone. So I'm using my knife, I'm feeling to one side or the other of that breastbone and then making some nice, long, smooth incisions. The meat is cooked, so it has a tendency to want to easily pull away from the, the breast. If the chicken is still hot, it's all the easier because it, it will want to just fall off the bone. In this case, I'm using the tip of the knife to trace around the, the ribs of, of this bird, and I'm kind of separating this meat as I go all the way down to the joint where the wing bone connects naturally, and I'll, I'll kind of take it a little further so you can see it, and then one smooth cut. and that wing is separated. You could either slice this into thin pieces. Since I'm showing you how to cut this bird into 10 pieces today, I'm just gonna cut it in half. That's one of my favorite pieces right there that has the end of the wing and then a little bit of the moist breast. And then some people really love to eat that piece that has very little fattiness and it's mostly lean, that, that's the breast. And now you can see that my knife is just on the other side of that ridge and I'm holding the knife almost as lightly as I can. I'm not giving any pressure and squeezing the handle. I'm just, I'm holding it even lighter than a pencil. I let the blade kind of do what it, do what it does. And I'm gonna um, just separate the meat just a touch. 
and I get to a point where the breast is almost separated and you can see where that joint is. And so now it really is just about putting the knife in the right place and trimming it. All right, so I'm gonna trim just the edge so it doesn't have a raggedy edge. I could save all of these, any of these trims and especially the bones for a soup or a broth. You never want to waste uh, the, the time that you commit to working in the kitchen. And you always want to utilize every single delicious part of the products that you, that you cook. So let's cut this in half and take a look. Man, moist, tender. I'm going to put it right on the platter here. And then, you know, with the rest of the bird, if you really want to get thrifty, and technically speaking, I left just a little bit of meat on here. So why waste it? You could always set those on the side and make a little chicken salad. There's, you know, not much, but hey, it all counts. And then lastly, I would just um, recommend breaking the bone in two or three pieces so that you can wrap it up and use it another day in your, in your soup or in your stock. Hope this was helpful and have fun carving your own chickens at home. See you next time.